you know, impartial or whatever, but you're the bad guy. Yeah, you're just the bad guy right now. It's nothing, <laughs> it's nothing personal. We just want to see... I don't even, I don't, I don't even want him to lose. I just want him to, like, have a slow enough draw that we get to sweat some experiment. Sweat, yeah. Or, uh, Un uh, unexpected, unexpected results. Yeah, that's, a, that's all, that's all we want. That's all the crowd wants at home. Just don't it's bash him, to don't for. bash him too fast. You know the fun part of Tyler's deck? What's that? The range of opening hands that we're going to get to see. Oh my god, we got some LSV uh, sample hands That's, for sure. Absolutely we do. For sure. This could be Tyler. Conley may have designed this deck. <laughs> no, it's tough to say between, it could be either Conley Woods, Travis Wu, or Ali and Trotty designed this deck. Well, Conley or Ali slash Travis. Right, right. Same guy. Same guy. Well, we, we think. <laughs> we get confused easily. Tyler, Tyler <laughs> thumbs up. Chris with the mulligan. And the crowd goes. Wild. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Very. Uh, there were two fist pumps in the uh, in the booth. The crowd, <laughs> the crowd goes absolutely wild. Marsh Madness in the air. Can you feel it? Um, can you? I was I was like talking to somebody in the elevator this morning, and he was talking to somebody else, and they was like, "Oh, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Virginia or whatever." And he like gets off the elevator, so I'm like, in the elevator with the one dude. And I was just like, "Hey, man, we're, like, what are you guys all in town for?" It's like, uh. Basketball? It's like, oh. Yeah, some people, if you guys don't know, there's actually a, the, the first set of games are being played in Kansas City here, like a couple blocks from where we are. Um, and our coverage runner actually has his bracket. And I saw a lot of X's through it. So <laughs> you should work on that guy's name I don't know. <laughs> you should get better. I hope you picked Old Miss, because they're awesome. Chris taking a look at his six cards now, and happy, ha happy, uh, happy uh, yet? Uh, there right. we go. All right, breeding pool to start. Tyler passes it back. Chris gonna take a draw step. He draws an abrupt decay. So I don't see, uh, you know, too much fancy I sauce. I think I see an experiment one. And she's gonna go down to 18 via stomping ground. And there's an experiment one. So pretty good start for his mulligan to six. Tyler gonna take a draw. You see a Borborgamos. Farseek. Wow, how lucky he just ripped it. Just ripped that for Borgamos like it was nothing. Yeah, unbelievably lucky drawing for Borgamos. One of two, wow. I love like all these all these uh, like crazy casting costs and then his mana base like 6-4, six, 6 island. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> he's just yeah. casting off of Lotus and, and Lantern. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Or actually. unexpected results. He does have two copies of Guild of Loses, four Farseeks, and four copies of Chromatic Lantern to like ramp himself up a little bit and then uh, then he's got his uh, he's got his awesome cards. You see another stopping ground. He a goes a little, mismatched. He goes a little grounds. new school, a little old school. Patrick yeah. Sullivan probably not very happy right now. But we're <laughs> gonna see a flint hoof four. Gonna bump up that experiment one. It will evolve, and Tyler's going to take two. He's gonna go down to eighteen. And now Tyler will draw a card. He draws a forest. You see a guild of lotus. You see an omniscience in his hand. Is he just gonna have to fast turn back? He will. So next turn's gonna be guild of lotus time. But is he gonna be able to get these cards out fast enough? That is the question. Uh, pretty strong curve, it looks like, from the Experiment Jun Ooh, deck he here a with the uh, Dreg Mangler. This is going to attack for nine on yeah. turn three. And you can see. That's a lot. You can see why this deck is actually pretty good. Because, I mean, this is a mulligan from that deck. As you yeah. see, Tyler draws an old Elder Scale Worm. And he's going to play Gilded Lotus, but he's already just, he's just dead on board right yes. now. Yes. He's just facing down. He's at nine. He's facing down nine points of damage. Facing Exaxes. Chris does not have to play another spell to win this game. And in case he does, he has a Searing Spring. You know. Oh, just, you know. There's your Dragon Skull Summit. There's your Lethal Attack. Good attack. There, there's your Concession. Strong attack. So Chris Dot is going table. to... Chris Dot is going to win game one. The enemy, or frenemy, as it were, does does win game one. Tyler did not draw an unexpected result. You know, I'm, I'm not too happy, but I'm also not too surprised. Well, I think this match is fairly favorable for Chris. I would, I would say, I would say so. Yes, it's fairly favorable. But Tyler does have a sideboard, and we are going to take a look at it. And I lied. I was going to say. I lied. I'm pretty sure that's not true. I lied. I was prepared to look at the sideboard, but it's not there. Yeah. And that's an unexpected result. Boo. boo. I'm being booed by. It's like it's like D minus wow. territory. All right. Fair enough, experiment John side. All you did was say the name of the card. I thought I did that pretty well though. I don't know. Your your timing was good, but they can't see it, but the look on your face, you were you were a little too proud. I'm shamed. You were a little too <laughs> I'm shamed right now. 
I thought I thought my joke was good for at least like three points. Mm -hmm. But I could be wrong. Been wrong before. Be wrong again. Chris thought experiment, John, as if he needs the help. Um, I mean, what do you even board against? Like he literally saw Farseek and, and Gilded Lotus. Gilded Lotus. Well, he has two copies of Duress, so I mean, I, I would expect those to come in. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I don't really know. Um, you know, he didn't have an Abrupt Decay target. I think you can infer from a deck that's playing Gilded Lotus, you're probably not going to have an Abrupt Decay target. So they're probably going to come it's out. It's probably just a clean swap. Maybe bring in the Skullcrack if he thinks it's, uh, you know, some big Sphinx's Revelation deck. I don't know. Just pretty minor changes. Some some slight uh, improvements. Nothing, you know, no groundbreaking tech. And if you guys do want to interact with us at interact with us, excuse me, at home, you can do that. You can join us on Twitter at SCG Live, hashtag SCGKC. We'll be able to see all your tweets, AJ and I can. And I bring that up because we do have a tweet here. From Osip Lebedovich. Who? Osip Lebedovich. The Salt Semester himself, saying that he would like AJ and I to get some more unexpected result puns in there. So but it clearly resonated with at least one viewer. Thankfully. Thank you, Osip. I appreciate it <laughs> very much. Very nice of you. So we do see both players shuffling up here for game two. Here's what we need. I have no, I, have no I use the Royal Wii. I have no words. I use the Royal Wii. Yeah. Tyler needs to draw an unexpected result and cast it. And hit. And Chris maybe needs to take another mulligan and not have his fastest start. I not have the one drop, two drop, three drop. That has haste? Yes. Yeah. Exactly that is what I think uh, Tyler is going to Sadly, that's what here. his deck is kind of designed to do. Oh. Well. Yeah. That's... That's unfortunate. That is... Un unfortunate is the word I would use. Unfortunate results? <laughs> Count it. <laughs> Just for you, Osa. C+. Plus. <laughs> yes. My grading scale, I'm a little bit nicer Just with how passing. I grade. Yeah, I'm a little bit nicer. <laughs> passing? Passing? That's all, that's all I ask for. Wow. <laughs> My parents were never very strict. Wow. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do anything for weeks if I had a C+. Plus. <laughs> Jeez. I will say, uh, Teller named his deck the Rainbow Factory. Good name. And sleeves to match. The sleeves to match. I like that. Astute. And he has two and The attention out. to detail. And he's going to go down. The head shake and the deck grab. He's going down to six cards and Chris. The sigh and Chris the with the mulligan. All right. So both players going down to six here. Tyler looking to draw an unexpected result and cast it. That's what we want to see. That's what everyone at home wants to see. I've got my finger on the pulse via the Twitter sphere. We want an unexpected result. Yeah. And, and I think that this game, we're going to get it. I think he's going to, like, get the rest, but then draw the unexpected result, and he's going to hit a big spell, but it's going to be omniscious, and he's going to have nothing to cast. Ooh. That would, that would stink. Uh-oh, we've, we've got some incoming tweets here. Uh, results of the pun may vary. I give that like a like a C. Yes, not too good. C minus, okay. C minus, yeah. Again, my grading scale not as strict. And AJ's blue hair was likely an unexpected result from Osip. Bazinga! Eh, it's Another not mulligan. Bazinga. Another mulligan. Osip A A plus. Osip just like words, words, words. Blue hair, words, words, and it's like a joke, you know. A plus. Good job, Osip. <laughs> As Chris looks like he's keeping his six, you see a burning tramissary, you see a couple of lands there. And really, I mean, if you're Chris, you're just, uh, you see a duress in there too, just saying, yeah, this, Ooh, is, is, brutal. Yeah, this is good enough, as Tyler's taking a mulligan here. Duress you wonder if Chris knows what he's playing against. Well, like, I mean, the cards he saw were literally Farseek and Gilded Lotus. Yeah, so you're almost just the only deck, off The duress. only, like, known deck that played those two cards were, like, the very, very, very first iterations of the Vant Sphinx's Revelation deck. Uh, that Sam Black and Cuneo made that then was refined to the build that Reed Duke then top eight back to back GPs with. Sure. But, um, you know, first, the early days of that deck did have Gilded Lotus in it um, and those lands. So, okay. I mean, if I were Chris, that's what I would put them on. But. I see Tyler's taking a mulligan to four here. And I, four this, or five? This is mulligan well, to four now. Uh, I will say that uh, Tyler's deck, it only needs one. Spell. It does only need one right. spell. 
because you're going to see that opening hand, Forest, Elder Scale Worm, Omniscience, and he's mulliganing to three. Cedric, I think the dream is dead. You know, I have a dream. <laughs> that one day. That one day, unexpected results would be cast and reveal Borbordamos in range. <laughs> he's he's going to do that? Have no lands and then die to an alpha? <laughs> Stop. I'm just thinking the most like twisted things Stop that can happen. I have a dream. <laughs> Uh, we have a mulligan. He and is angels. mulliganing down to. Is this two or one? This two. is two. Uh, again, anybody's game. It's up in the air. Which is important. Too close to call. Yeah. Now, the, the fun part about this, AJ, is now, not only do we get to see a two card opening hand, which you don't see very often in Magic, we get to see a two card opening hand win with unexpected results. Correct. Yeah. But we also get to see the draw step every turn. Where he has all of these giant monsters and <laughs> he can literally draw anything. He's gonna right, keep, keep go. and pass. He's got an unexpected result. Maybe, two, maybe two was a little low. Yeah. He does have an unexpected result, so if he. Chris Stott's gonna start with Boo! Duress on the unexpected result. I will result. take that one. <laughs> and a draw step reveals Gilded Lotus. Alright, we're on our way. And there's a Burning Trivisary. Nothing to put into play. Elder Scale Worm to draw. Pass. We should just like ha put up a like, oh, technical difficulty screen, and then like commentate the game as, <laughs> as we want. Yeah. Like, oh, our, our camera's out. We'll get right on that. But meanwhile, <laughs> Chris <laughs> misses his third land drop. And now there's a Gazella in play. <laughs> How did that Tyler, happen? Tyler, two lands. He far seeks. <laughs> Unexpected results. This shuffle. Omniscience is in. As you see Hellrider and Burning Trimacer coming across, two triggers, a forest finally drawn, and still had all of these. Wow. Still had all these, the two card the rest hand. As you see, two And off the top of the deck. These are also what I was going to draw to kill you with. Oh. And the handshake. Chris Stott. 2 0. Easy breezy. 3 0. Right? Oh, I'm sorry, 2 0 the match. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to move on to 3 0 here. 